How's it going guys? It's Joe. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you footage of a clone trooper team here with a Shakti lead. I find this team to be quite interesting and fun to play. Currently I've been playing around in the arena just to see how viable some teams are and I gotta say this team with Arc Trooper in it is really good. I'm currently farming this team as well as I want it to be ready for light side TB as this team will help me un or help my guild unlock Key Addy Mundi, who will be key to increasing the chances of succeeding in light side TB in the future. So a couple of things with this team guys, Shakti provides so much speed for the clone troopers with their leadership, it's about plus 35 and if you have a fast Rex, he will always take the first turn. And you can then use your cleanse to increase your team's turn meter. So with going against gas, you want to really save Echo's grenade for when Fives is taunting or for when Fives has been downed. Echo will also do an insane amount of damage if a clone trooper was able to crit prior to his turn. So once gas is down, same plan, you want to get rid of Fives ASAP. Shakti's assault team here has a dispel and she has training exercises which essentially is an assist ability so I use that on Echo here try and get as much damage as I can on fives and at this point guys I'm thinking to myself I don't think I can drop fives before gas gets up again so I'm just gonna try my best here and see how I go and if they do down one of my clones fives will sacrifice and we will do so much more damage so at this stage guys I was so unlucky that they went for Shakti and I lost her quite early uh, she's not that tanky a character and I modded her for speed so if you do lose her it's fine your clones still have enough damage once fives goes down for that sacrifice so after that I've got a supercharged set of clones and they're gonna do so much damage my next target will be Rex and after Rex is down, I'm going to throw this grenade and Ahsoka is pretty much down as well. And as you can see, we've won this. Gas is no longer that strong. Ever since they fixed his ability, Hero with No Fear, he can no longer 5v1 your team. So in this next segment guys, I'm going to show you the same team here. We're going against the Sith Empire squad. So going against the Sith Empire team can be really tricky with Shakti clones. Same principle here, Fast Rex uses a cleanse, then I can place Ark's command ability on Echo here as I found that oftentimes for some reason the opposing team's AI targets Rex and I'm gonna use Shakti's assault team and get a mass assist onto HK. So with Sith Empire, I wanted to avoid using AoEs as you will end up getting feared and you will miss a turn on one of your characters. Um, after a HK has been downed, I'm going to go ahead and hit Basti. However, I'm stuck behind a taunt here and the counter attacks are real on this team guys because we dropped Sith Trooper with the counter attack there. I decided to throw that grenade just because um, I couldn't get past Malak's taunt. And at this point, I can finally go on Basti, so I use my assist ability onto Rex. As Echo was feared and Arc Troopers got shock. So now that Revan's down, this is the bit here that requires a lot of RNG. Um, because a Relic 7 Malak will keep health stealing and will be super tanky. So I'm just going to speed this up, guys. And at this point, I just use a lot of my basic attacks and keep chipping away at Malak's health. And eventually, if you have enough clones towards the end with Arc Trooper's turret, you can do enough DPS to drop Malak. Don't even bother using the aerial advantage, just try and chip away at his health with basics for the win. So I just want to show you the mods here guys and while I do let's talk a bit about how light side TP is going to look during this particular special mission. We know it's going to be tough and it's it'll take a lot of relics and definitely good mods to accomplish this mission. Personally I haven't had much success even on the first phase of TB so in order to make TB easier we'll have to ensure that we avail of the bonuses that we can get from fulfilling all the platoons and having a good game plan as to how this team will survive long enough. 
Having Shakti on the team is helpful because um, you get a lot of protection recovery as long as the troopers are assisting and the devs did say that this um, would be about ensuring that the Reek is able to apply the trample effect onto Django and once that's applied that's when we can finally hit Django and drop him and then go on the Reek after. So I would probably save Echo's Grenade for when Trample is applied to Django and the Reek does apply a lot of debuffs to your team so it's about ensuring that you get the dispels on time as well. So um, Shakti's dispel is going to play a good role on this but in order to know more about it I guess we'll just find out in time once TB comes around again and we're able to attempt it. So thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please leave a comment and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.